Good evening, everyone. <laughs> uh, I'm coming from Isaiah 51, okay? And this is an, an encouraging word for someone, okay? Isaiah 51, 7. Listen to me, you who know righteousness, the people in whose heart is my law. Fear not the reproach of man, nor be dismayed at their revilings. For the moth will eat them up like a garment, and the, warm, the worm will eat them like wool. But my righteousness will be forever, and my salvation to all generations. Awake, awake, put on strength, O arm of the Lord. Awake as in the days of old. The generations of long ago, was it not you who cut Rahab in pieces, who pierced the dragon? Was it not you who dried up the sea, the waters of the great deep? Excuse me. Who made the depths of the sea a way for the redeemed to pass over? And the ransom of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing. Everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain gladness and joy, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. I, I am he who comforts you. This is 12. Isaiah 51, 12 now. I, I am he who comforts you. Who are, who are you that you are afraid of man who dies? Oh, the son of man who is made like grass. And have forgotten the Lord your maker, who stretched out the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth. And you fear continually all the day because of the wrath of the oppressor, when he sets himself to destroy. And where is the wrath of the oppressor? He who is bowed down shall speedily be released. He shall not die and go down to the pit. Neither shall his bread be lacking. I am the Lord, your God, who stirs up the sea so that its waves roar. The Lord of hosts is his name. And I have put my words in your mouth and covered you in the shadow of my hand, establishing the heavens and laying the foundations of the earth and saying to Zion, you are my people. Hallelujah. Okay. So this is a word of encouragement for anyone who is dealing with uh how can i say if if you are dealing with any kind of uh torment or just anything that the enemy is trying to to um come against you with okay any any tactic any anything that the enemy tries to use against you he shall not prosper okay no matter if the enemy is trying to use a person against you no matter if the enemy is trying to just uh, cause you to be upset or scared or fearful or anxious or worried. Any, anything that is not of God, okay? God gives peace. God is a God of peace and a God of comfort, okay? He gives his people comfort. He gives his, pe his people peace. So if you're not, if you're having negative feelings or if you're having anything that's upsetting your spirit, this word is for you, okay? God is your avenger, okay? He will avenge in due time. He will avenge the wrath. He will he will send his wrath upon all workers of iniquity. So just continue to just put on put on the strength of God, okay? You may be weak, but God is strong, okay? You may feel weak, you may feel powerless. But God is strong, okay? What is what is the word? Um He He chooses the weak or uh what is the word? Something that in your weakness you are made strong by God. I'm not I don't I don't know if I'm quoting it right. But in your weakness you are made strong through God. So put on the armor of God. Put on your put on your um your warrior outfit, the armor of God, okay? The, he, the salvation, the, the helmet of salvation, the, um, the breastplate of righteousness, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, the belt of truth, um, the shield of faith, okay? 
and the shoes of the gospel of peace. If I'm missing any, then you go look it up and you find out the armor of God. But anyways, um, put on the whole armor of God and know that you can dwell in peace no matter what the enemy is doing because our circumstances, okay, sometimes can give us a sense of um, uneasy, being un feeling uneasy. Um, and those things, they come and go. Things in life come and go. We may feel good one day, we may feel bad another day. Something, we may be, we may be doing really good one day and the next day we're not doing so good. So our emotions are up and down. Things that happen in life are out of our control. But how we can stay in peace, the peace that only God can give, is by focusing on Him, no matter what the circumstances look like. Just like as Peter in the storm, when God God told him to trust in him, he saw the waves around him and he fell down because he focused on what was going on around him instead of focusing on Christ, which was the one who made him to walk on the water and to and he stopped the storm. So focus on focus on Christ, okay? He is able to stop all the storms in your life. And even in the storm, he can give you peace. God bless.